Y'all, I am this close. This close. This close to losing my mind. <sighs> Y'all, we have like T minus, I don't know, three, four days till we're supposed to leave Tennessee. And we still have not found an Airbnb. Still. What did you say? Someone please explain to me what in the Tennessee is going on around here. I literally don't know what to think. And we're going to the smallest town and it is so hard to find a dang Airbnb. Then not only that, you got little towns around the little town and they're charging Miami prices. What do you say? I, it, for apartments. First of all, we're not apartment people, okay? And uh, we're gonna be homeless, guys. At this point, it feels like we're gonna be homeless and I don't know what to do. Stop it, get some help. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to stay cool. I'm trying to stay collected. I'm thinking, God's got us. Okay, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. But as time just keeps, and I'm not finding nothing, I'm getting frustrated. So, prayers that the Johnson family does not end up homeless. Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Tony. So, I had to get all that out, y'all, before we have a positive hug, so you know the routine. Coming for your hug, girl. Aww. Hello, my loves. I hope everyone is happy, healthy, thriving, and not homeless in April 2024. <sighs> so, Today, we're just gonna do a vlog, guys. We're gonna hang out and run errands and do those type of things that we do. And y'all are gonna help me look for an Airbnb because maybe, maybe just a baby, if I put a little bit of my subby babies on there, we may find a place. We may not be homeless. The story may continue in a beautiful way. I'm only joking about being homeless. That is not a funny thing. But, you know, you can, when you don't have a home to go back to, that's how it can make you feel sometimes. It's like you're out on the streets. But that's not the case. I told y'all it's getting me worked up. So I gotta go run some errands. Maybe grab some coffee, get my life together, and then we'll come home and I'll talk to y'all about the new book that I'm reading and um, we can look for an Airbnb because y'all are on my journey with me. So if I struggle, you struggle, we struggle together, right? All right, subby babies, let's go, go. <sighs> subby babies. We are this close, this close to being homeless. Homeless, this close to homeless. At least that's what my wife says. <laughs> Anyways, hi y'all, how you doing? How your mama doing? <laughs> How your family doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> Good. Okay, y'all, so I just want to say, I'm going to be 100% honest, Jesse and I both have dropped the ball today. But I do look majestic oh. in my Leo <laughs> form. Just oh. ignore him. <laughs> but we literally left the house, went to 
Starbucks, grabbed our drinky drinks, and then we went to the beauty supply store. And I was like, we haven't recorded. They're supposed to be running errands with us. And plus the beauty supply, we wouldn't have took out in there anyways because it is so small. I gotta tell you guys about this lady. We was in there. Every time we go in there, we're always like, that's super nice. It's two Asian ladies and they're always really, really sweet. And typically a hair store, they're not sweet. But I'm always like, you know, my wife's like, oh, they're so nice to the uh, the black people in here and the black people are so respectful to them and everything. And then it's not even two seconds later we hear this lady in there. <laughs> she's like screaming and hollering. She's like, uh, She's screaming and hollering. She's like, y'all just sitting there while I'm trying to get some help. And instead of, <laughs> instead of just saying you didn't do it, you might as well just say sorry. I was like, ooh. But it was like instant, instantly. I mean, it was like right after we said that. <laughs> the lady was mad as heck. Yes. And then not only that, y'all. Like, <laughs> the reason why I said that is because where I'm from in Oklahoma, our beauty, su beauty supply stores predominantly are on the um i'll say african-american side of the town right so the thing is what the hell oh i guess what they were i guess they were on like a daycare over there oh my god it's not like i don't even know like you ran over a bunny <laughs> <laughs> sorry y'all but um the thing is is like where it sits right they are just not the owners are not the nicest people and i understand like people have come in and have stolen stuff or whatever the case it don't matter if they're black white puerto rican asian like people have come and you know stolen so much stuff that these people have their guards up and but they are not nice nine times out of ten they are not nice to you at all and they're watching you like a dang hawk so it was just refreshing to see like being another hair store and everybody was treating everybody with kindness but like babe said as soon as we said that things was going ham stuff was popping off people were angry and it really was over something so trivial y'all like it was not even that big a deal so stupid yeah it was really just not cool yeah, MC, not cool. <laughs> so now we are headed to Target. Um, I have to go there because, of course, Miss Bougie Buns herself uses a specific toothbrush, and yeah, you know the heads are swappable. So they only carry them at Target that I've found so far. But that's where we're headed now. Um, and then tonight. I have to do my son's hair. Oh, y'all. Jakota has like this much African American in him, okay? And he, this man, literally, his hair is so coily, kinky, crazy, like will mat up. So tonight we are, I'm doing it old school, baby. And for the person that asked me, did I wash my dog in the sink? I sure did. Okay. That's my business. And you see me clean it afterwards. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to do it old school. I'm going to put him on the counter, put his head over the sink, and we're going to spray it, and we're going to deep condition it, and we're going to get them curls popping because me and my son both are on a hair journey this year. I know y'all see me on here wearing my humped up bad wigs, lace showing. <laughs> Listen, I have not been able to find a hairdresser in Virginia. And your girl cannot lay no type of wig. So, so anyways, I have been just rocking with these horrible wigs, y'all, until I got my hair twisted. Oh, helmet head. Oh, helmet head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, World War One. Okay, that. stop it. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> oh, Vietnam vet head ass. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Anyways, I was roasting myself. I did need the peanut gallery <laughs> to jump in. But as I was saying, I 
literally, there's no good hairdressers here in Roanoke. Like, and if somehow, girl, you're in Roanoke and you're a hairdresser, baby, I didn't find you. <laughs> I did not find you. Yeah. So don't take I that. I missed part. out. I missed out. <laughs> so when we get to Tennessee, I'm trying to get my hair braided, y'all. I'm going to wear braids and twists for like the next six months of the year, take my hair down, deep condition it, all those things. Buy me a hopefully a natural stylist because I'm trying to have my puff puff on puff puff. You know, I'm trying to get my curls back. So, and my son's curls are beautiful. Trying to be on your puff daddy? Don't do that. Trying to be on your puff <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you said the, 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 you said the, the puff, puff. Stop it. We're not doing that out here. We're not doing that on here. I, <laughs> well, I, stop I it. think there's enough puff, puff, puff stop. in the world right now as it is. Y'all, see, this is why this is why you cannot bring certain people to the camera. I am sorry. Certain people do not know how to act. No manners, no <laughs> class, just trash. Yeah, zip it. <laughs> I'm gonna look through the hair stuff. Oh, you wanna do a haul for them, a car haul for yeah. the stubby babies? I hope that you're puffing the, the way you want it to. Rich and full. Hold on, y'all, look away. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, guys. For I, your crusty feet, back, I, got, I got these for her because her feet are really, really. Oh! up. What? We gonna lie? Baby. <laughs> are we gonna tell the truth? Or yeah, what? are we gonna tell the truth or what? Anyways, Don't let him these body are off. for her. I get uh, pedicures. You see these feet, how they're peeling like that? That's typically what hers look like. <laughs> and we're trying to get them to a more manageable state. <laughs> Something like this. And this is Kiss brand, of course, because it's from the hair store. Um, Y'all see his fingernails from work. It ain't me. Y'all can imagine what them feet look like. This is, uh, we got, the lighting is weird. A pedicure file. Oh, there we go. Right here. It's double-sided because, like I said, you know, her feet are a little rough. So. And then this is a <laughs> callus, a professional pedicure file because tell the truth and shave the devil because there's a few spots on her elbows and knees that need some cheese grating come here let me whisper something in your ear come here <laughs> why are you squeezing my neck come here And this is a callus cutter <laughs> for her crusty elbow. <laughs> and her, her knuckles. <laughs> yeah, it's all for my feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's all for my feet. <laughs> Blink twice if I need help. <laughs> yeah. You see him with dotted eyes. I'm dying. Uh, all right, and then we got some. <laughs> it's backwards, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> anyway, we got some cotton rounds. I got those before my um, toner. I'm gonna dare my skincare. Dare my skincare. I like putting it on my hands, but lately. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh! And then this is the comb that we chose for the detangling process of Coda's hair yes and this is a really cute and soft like scarf for mom's edges yes Don't wear that with my bonnet and then a spray bottle for Coda's hair cut its curls and then this can't too 
for Jakota. And this can too. Leave in. Well, no, just conditioner. Oh, that's shampoo and conditioner. Sorry. Yes, because I'm trying to keep all Jakota's hair products the same. Like right now, he's using Donna's. That's the leave in stuff by Tabitha Brown. But. And it works really good if I had. I would have to get everything like he had before, but we're gonna try this can too because I heard it's really, really good for mixed hair. So. Well, this stuff's pretty low. Oh, yeah, it is. More can two twos. Can two. And then, setting mousse. This has gotta be for mom. Yeah. It was almost BTS, but they didn't have the S, they only had an L. <laughs> Yeah, that's to keep the naps down. Oh, and this is for Dakota too. This is a... Uh, Never heard of this. Yeah, I mean, either Dr. Miracle Strong and Healthy Coconut Water and Marshmallow Root Extract Detangly Pre-Shampoo Treatment. So I'll show you guys. I've never even heard of this. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. This way. Yeah. Never heard of it. Nope. And then we got some shower caps to let this stuff sit in his hair. And then, I don't know what this is. An edge brush, baby. Um, You've been married to a black woman for almost 15 years. You don't know what an edge I brush I thought this was for your eye <laughs> brows when they get bushy, I don't know. Oh baby, they would never get to that point where we need cold. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> the other women. Oh, and then uh, this really cute thing. Scarf. It's, a, scarf. it's a scarf for mom's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's another one. This is, kind of resembles a, a like a tablecloth, but it's really cute. It's super cute. And then this stuff, this edge gel, so that mom can lay her edges. My napes. Yes, because her nape beyond non nape. <laughs> <laughs> it's because my hair is natural. Then I hope y'all ready. The number one purchase of the day. That is so bright. Here we go. Yes. It yes. is cherry lip gloss, straight out of the 90s from the hair store. Now tell them about when we met in 20, 2004. 2004, yeah. Ooh. I used to wear that stuff all the time, y'all. Lips would be thick. Yeah. yeah, I think that is what actually hooked me. That's what got me was the lip gloss. And here on camera, I'm going to have Ew. her put it on. Reason no these boys got crushes. For y'all. I do not like this stuff. It is so thick, y'all. Like, like I do not know how we was even talking in the early 2000s with this shit on. Like, it's giving thick. It's giving too much. It's giving corn syrups. Ten thousands. <laughs> it's giving not maples. <laughs> oh, hold on, all right, so the camera skadooed, it got too hot. It did. Um, I'm texting this guy about an Airbnb right quick. Ooh. We'll be back for the lip gloss. <laughs> okay. We're back! So I'm literally having flashbacks of puffer jackets, juicy Fila shoes. And I don't even know what else from our era. There's nothing wrong with Fila shoes. <laughs> or Jinko jeans. Ew, or gauchos. I don't know what that is. Those were the capris that were the wide leg. Who was wearing wide leg Oh, capris? or the knitted slip-on shoes or flats. Ew. Which they've brought back flats. But anyway. All right, get to, the, get to it, get to the gloss. Show them the close-up of the glossies. <laughs> it's already oozing out, y'all. Ew. Yeah. Hold on. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. So cute. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
How's it smell thick? <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> you open it, it smells thick in here. <laughs> oh, y'all. The baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That does not taste like cherries. Your lips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to go to Target. 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 I guess we can record in there a little bit, huh? Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys in a second. You almost got hit by a car. Literally, that fucking chick about took our legs off. To the Target. Let's go. Subby babies. Y'all see what he just did to me? He literally threw y'all. He pushed me. He pushed me and made me knock the camera over. So right now, y'all, getting um some girly essentials. So the abuser right there caught on camera. They just saw you pull my hair. You're abusive, you're you aggressive. Edited, you're gonna edit that in, that's fake. <laughs> you're gonna, Such you're a gonna AI that
I know I have some girlies and my subby babies that will tell me the truth. Is this really a Laneige dupe? Because that's what I have heard. And the people want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Because I know Laneige is like $20 and this is $249. Let's put her in the bag. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. What oh, makes you want to get my baby one? I think he has a, has a specific one. See, we had to let the toddlers out because we weren't here for a while. So, Sebi babies. I guess let me show y'all what I got from Target. Target, if, if you will. 
So, first off, hold on y'all, let me wash my hands. Hi, shakers. Okay y'all, so it's not really sunny out today, so I have to have this light on, which is kind of annoying. So, babe showed y'all what we got from the beauty supply store. And so I'm gonna show you what we got from Target. Now, so as far as like personal hygiene items, Jesse got some razors, but I got, as you've seen, the Vaseline. We're gonna try this, we're gonna give it a try, and then I will let you guys know what I think. I don't know. All I've seen about that is that it is a Laneige dupe, and I've seen so many shorts about it, but is it? We don't know. So then I got the heads from our toothbrush. The metal toothbrush at Target by Oral B is so good. But the heads of my toothbrush are actually white, but they only had black. So that's what I had to get. And then I got now. I've heard a lot about these too. The e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil, which I'm about to try this right now. I got two colors. I got Jam Session, which is this pretty brown color. And then I got the um, Pink Quartz. So I wanna try this right now because I do have the Dior Lip Oil. And supposedly, this is like a dupe for now. That Dior lip oil cost me $40. What did you say? Okay. And when I first got her, I was kind of mad. I was like, what the hell? For $40? So already off top, the packaging is kind of giving the vibe of that. I feel, of course, cheaper. It was $8. But we're going to see. Oops. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Okay. Whoever said this is a dupe for Dior is a lying through their baby teeth. Okay? Because, baby, at this point, The little sponge thing is getting more than I'm getting. Mmm. No. We don't wipe that off. It's not. Mmm. Gives it a nice little shine or whatever, but it's not all that and a bag of Funyuns. Okay? No. So let's try this Vaseline. It's so cute though. If anything, we got a cute from it. So I still have not bought the one Asia. Still have not bought it. She feels nice. I like her. $2.96 versus $8. Mmm. Okay, yeah. I could do the Vaseline. The Vaseline feels good. But, baby, what a disappointment. It depends, I guess, on how you like your lips. Like I said, when I pull it out of the bottle, I would think, oh, baby, we're about to be filling the product. But like I said, it feels like the little dippy thingy is getting more product on it than these lips. And I did it twice. Y'all seen that? 
So that's going to be a no-go for me. Maybe if you need a little quick ash to be going on your lips, that it may be perfect for that. But yeah, moving on. So I have this EOS um, lotion. I usually use the vanilla one. Hold on, y'all. Is the sun trying to pop back out? Let's see how we look. Mm, okay. We can rock with that for a minute. So I usually get the... Um, vanilla cashmere one I think is what it is and I got this one it's called fresh plus cozy fresh and cozy and I really like the smell of this I feel like it's gonna go good with the roll-on perfume I got I've heard so much about Frenchie by Ashley Tisdale and this one is called awaken and uplift citrus and amber glow on perfume baby it smells heavenly heavenly like Ashley what girl it's giving oh I'm not gonna lie y'all it smells expensive like seriously this probably smells better than my Tiffany's perfume oh chokehold chokehold and this was the last one the last one so I'm glad I got her but definitely my favorite finally found my summer scent i have been looking for i just stumbled across it and i just want to give it a go and then i got this from my sister-in-law because she is this tree hut we all know i'm a dr kills girly so that's all i got with that stuff and then let's see we got some primes lemonade prime lemonade and um strawberry watermelon and then we also got zero sugar cherry canada dry y'all the zero sugar ginger ale is so much better the regular ginger ale. I don't know why, but we just prefer that one. It is the house go-to. And then, let's say, of course, I had to stock Dakota back up on drinks. We have all these drinks and we're leaving in a few days. Ugh, we still have drinks for the road. But, I got this good and Oh my God, my wedding ring was caught in it. So, got this good and gather peach bellini. Um, so like, what's it called? Sparkling water. I got that for our son because he loves sparkling water. And then let's see. So, also got some zero sugar cinnamon roll cinnamon roll <laughs> creamer now this being because i really love thai chai chai or not thai chai chai tea concentrate with this but then in summer i tend to drink more coffee so i have you know, I'll get some cold brew coffee, do a little bit of this, and it's my go-to drink. Because baby, who's trying to go to Starbucks every day? It's not me, first of all. Secondly, I'm really trying to live my best life in cafes this summer, and they don't have any cute cafes here. So, Starbucks was it. Um, then, I got some nighty night extra deep relaxing sleep tea it's lemon balm and valerian and i'm trying this because i really just want to have a good peaceful sleep and i heard it's really good for you to drink tea before bed so that's why we're trying that and i'll let you guys know if it works and then this one, I have never heard of this, but I love Tezo. And they have a glazed lemon loaf herbal tea. Oh, I, I, 
we're trying it. We're trying it. So that's pretty much all that I got besides, you know, everybody else's stuff. So I hope that y'all had a good time hanging out with us today. And I hope we made you laugh and brought a little bit of sparkle into your world. So yes, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.